Okay, so we're going to further this along. Um, in the last tutorial, we just kind of got started with some of the layout. In this one, we're going to I'm going to show you how to create some elements on the storyboard, and then um, link them via outlets and IB actions to the um, to the uh, Swift file. So let's go ahead and create a little more. We're going to grab a label down here, and I'm going to drag this over, and let's put it right about here. And this is actually just going to kind of indicate um, uh, the computer's card. And I'm going to center that. And I'll say computer right there. You know, let's give it a, let's go with um, white text. And we're going to give it a background of red, let's say. And oh, I thought I said computer. I did, okay. And then we'll duplicate that by doing Command D, and I'm gonna kinda drag it over to the other side, and we'll say, your card. All right, so computer's card and your card. Uh, we'll clean that up later, but for right now, that's that's fine. Um, then I'm gonna actually have some images that display um, the actual card, so I'm gonna grab an image here, and this is an image view, and I'm just gonna kinda put it under here, Okay, something like that, um, and I'm going to use, I have some images already in here. Um, let's go ahead then and search for them over here, and I want the card back. We'll make the computers blue, let's say. Um, let's, again, we'll click on that, duplicate it, Command D. I'm going to bring this over, and this will be your card, and we'll make ours uh, red. All right, so so there we have um, what will be the cards. It's kind of just a placeholder for it, you know, the back the back picture of a card. So next, um, let's go ahead and I'm going to just place a couple more labels here. Um, so we'll do a little search for oh, label, and this is going to be this will actually represent the score, the actual value, the face value of your card. So, you know, if it's a 10, that equals 10. If it's a jack, it equals 11, that kind of thing. And so we'll do that for each of them. So I just duplicated that again, put it right over here. So a we'll question mark to start out with, and when we actually have a value, we'll display it. And then lastly, let's do a, um, let's create a button. And this button's gonna allow us to, you know, deal the card. So we'll say deal, okay? All right, perfect. And so now we're going to um, link these up. So I'm going to do a split screen here with the, the little um, circles inside of each other. And I'm going to grab some of my code here and copy. And I will make this code available in the description of this video. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create outlets. See, why is it not letting us do that? <laughs> there we go. Um, for some reason, it wanted me to go in and out. So you place this code in here. I guess it doesn't like when you do it in split screen. So I actually X'd out a split screen and went back in. And now I have the, the little um, circles here that will allow me to connect um, these outlets. So this one is the computer card image. So I'm actually just going to click and drag and drop it there. And now that's connected. Um, so if I highlight over, see it's connected there. And same thing for your card. Drop it right there. Um, and then we have the computer's value. So I'm going to drop that right there. And then your value. Drop it right there. And then we're going to um, create the IB action with this button. So that's great. So they're all connected now. Um, we'll do something with these later. Uh, but for right now, I'm, I'm, they're just kind of 
you know, uh, titles, if you will. Um, so we can get out of split screen. All right, and now we're going to go um, right into the uh, view controller Swift. And I have, again, I'm going to make all this code available in the description. But I have this little uh, um, array that's a class variable that basically holds um, strings. This is an array. This is how you go about that. You give it a name and then colon, and you declare what type it's going to be in, in the square brackets. And then um, you put in the type. And since it's type string, you have to put them in quotes. Separate it by um, commas. And that correlates to each of our images that we have. And so we're actually going to um, generate a random number in our um, deal card IB action, uh, which gets activated when we click on our um, click on our button. So let me see. I have that code here. I'm going to bring it over and I'll explain it. Copy and let's paste that right in here and get rid of that. And so um, this here uh, is going to be the random card value that uh, is we create a random integer. And that's how you do it. You cast this as an int. You have this arc for random method that uh, will create a number between zero and whatever we put inside here. And I'm putting 52 in here since there's 52 cards. So I'll actually give us a number between zero and 51, but that'll correlate to one of these spots here. And then we're going to um, have this variable card one, which is going to correlate, the, which is going to hold that um, number there. So we have this, we're actually going to create a string. That card one's a string, which is going to correlate to um, the spot in our card deck array and then we're actually going to use that to change we have this computer card um, outlet right here all right and so we're going to change the image to the represent the random number that we generated and so that'll this will display that you do UI image named and you have to put a string here in this instance we're putting card one so if it came up let's say the random number was four we'd go zero one two three four and it would be three dash one png which in here uh, let's see what that would be uh where's it at oh, right here three dash one so that would actually be the three of clubs okay um, so let's go back in here and what else are we doing? Then we add that to the view. So it's going to take place of the, um, back, uh, the card that just shows the, the back of the card. It's going to show now an actual card from the deck. And then we, this is how we compute the value since, um, each of these are in kind of units of four. Now you have your twos, your threes, um, you divide that by four and then add two to it since we're starting at two right and that'll give you the value of the card so let's let's go see if this works um, hit play let's bring this over here and hit deal and there we go and every time we hit it we should get it so that should right that 13 is the value for that because uh, remember 14 would be the highest would be an ace and we can deal with making that a one or, or an ace um, there you go actually it's working pretty nice a different random card is dealt every time we press, and there you go, 14 correlates to the, to the ace. So that's pretty cool. So next time we'll, we'll do the same for us, and we'll actually compare them to see who won in the game of war. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and please subscribe. Thanks a lot.